Let's get it, Keith! Let's get it! Maybe side hinge a little bit more. I'm being picky right now. Grüß Petran! Gregory von Nebelstake. Keith Weber is a physiotherapist and a three times Iron Man. That's tough stuff and deserves a lot of respect. He's also doing some kettlebell workouts and I think he also sold a DVD once. He was requested in our YouTube comment section. If you have anybody that I should react to, let me know in the comments. Let's jump into the workout and see if Keith Weber knows what's up with the kettlebell. Hey everyone. What's up Keith? Sorry, I've been meaning to put out another exercise based video that you can follow along to at home for a while, but I've been uh, busy getting day drunk doing crossword puzzles and baking bread. First things first, a very likable and cool guy. He's very honest being day drunk and getting lost in crossword puzzles. <laughs> Other people would say, I've been busy doing business, but he's honest. I already like him. Uh, let's get it done. Five, five snatches. snatches. All right, let's go. One. Nice. Two. All right. Three. three four. Hold the All right. one up. But the technique is great. I really like it. It's more of a heart style kind of snatch. And what we sometimes say is keep your hands free that you take off your wristwatch or whatever. I always take my wristwatch off because the hand insertion may be better, especially when you work with competitions. Five overhead squats. Overhead squats now. All right, yeah. Good stuff. Two. Keep that arm extended, Keith. Let's Three. get it. Oh, I like the overhead squat. The overhead squat is a beast, it requires a lot of mobility, it requires a lot of strength. Good stuff, man. Windmills, let's go. One. All right. Two. Good stuff, man. Let's get it, Keith. Let's get it. Maybe side hinge a little bit more. I'm being picky right now. With that amount of weight, it's always recommended to keep your lower back safe. Keep it locked so that your T-spine, the upper part of your spine may rotate. So side hinging a little bit more will add some additional safety and stability for your spine. Other than that, that's that's man, that's great. It's great. Most bang for your buck exercises. That's what's thrusters. up. All right, single hand thrusters. Yeah. And I like the idea of Three. racking the kettlebell Four. and using additional support. Five. The overhead top fixation, being picky here, being picky here, maybe making sure that the scapula stays depressed down, that the arm is completely locked and it's close to your head. But hey, that, that, that's great. And I like it. Additional stability with your other hand because these rack thrusters, woof, they're, they're tough. Five squat kicks. Let's go. One. Punch. Two. Three. A squat with a kick. Actually, I thought about it. If you do a goblet squat or a rack squat, it's just, in general, biomechanically speaking, it is a front squat because the weight is in front of you. Then what you actually do is you work mostly your quads and your glutes and your hamstrings, they work isometrically. They don't change in length. They don't change in size. They just give stability and static power, so to speak. So if you use that kick, what you do is you additionally give your hammies a little stretch. Now the question is, is that beneficial? Maybe I wouldn't do the kick, but maybe that's the place where he's coming from. I don't know. Let's do that on the other side, then we'll take a little break. I, I like that. I don't know, man. Let's do the other side. Then maybe take a break. I like his vibe. Very sympathetic. Very cool, dude. Here we go. He's moving the weight in front of him, which is a good thing because he wants to use the first rep and the first swing, so to speak, to not waste the rep. Yet he's bending his lower back a little bit. Don't think that when I'm saying stuff like this, that sometimes I am not doing these mistakes. Now your spine may bend, your spine may flex, and it may hyperextend, but not under load. And why am I picky with these small little details? Because when you listen to Dr. Stuart McGill, who is a specialist when it comes to spine safety and health, he says it's all about these mi the micro trauma that you generate if you do one little move and you do it thousands and thousands of times for the next five years, that may lead to problems. So when you have a 22 kilo like Keith has it right here, 
make sure that your back is safe you put it out and i know this sounds like do i have to be that careful maybe yes especially if you have a spine that is a little bit difficult because we can also say that genetics play a role so always be careful and i have to watch this as well when you're in the mode when you're in the mood and you're ready to rock and you're in your warrior mode rah, let's go then sometimes we lose focus or we forget hey be safe with those lifting mechanics windmills now check this out he's side hinging way more with the right side maybe from that angle it's something that we can't see maybe he's hinging to the back a little bit more but check this out if you compare this windmill with his left arm with the right arm check it out you see that he's side hinging way more so always make sure that you're side hinging because now you can see his t-spine his upper part of the spine may rotate while the lower part of the spine is locked. Don't let yourself be limited by a small muscle group like the shoulder girdle. I know where he's coming from and I like that statement. It's also another side where you can say, okay, now I'm doing rack thrusters with lighter weight because I want my shoulder girdle to work as well and to become stronger. That's my idea. So I don't want to use no stability with my other side or like he does it right now, I'm using heavier weight. I want to work the biggest muscles and I don't want to be limited by the smaller muscle groups. So there's two sides to the story. Good stuff. All right. If you, uh, whoa. Oui. Oui. <laughs> be careful, Keith. Uh, All right. People call it around the world. People call it around the body pass. Whatever rocks your boat. We've incorporated the around the world in a workout and I used some challenging weights. I think it was 16 or 20. I'm not sure. I have to go see. And I didn't feel my midsection the next day, but my forearms. That's why, at least in my book, I will classify this exercise more a forearm exercise. <laughs> So let's check out how he puts the weight down and yes, I'm picky, but it's all about spine safety guys. And like I said, I have to stay focused as well. That's why I think it's great for me to see that stuff. I see it in my case as well, so I can be more specific and stay focused even when I'm going all in or, or I'm having a fight night with the kettlebell. So the kettlebell comes from rotation and he drops it. Now, sometimes it may be that when you come from rotation, you rotate the kettlebell around your body and you put it down, that what you do is you bend your spine and you're in rotation. This may be difficult for your spine. Now swinging for a finisher. Three, I like it. Four, five. Like it. Six. Good stuff, Keith. Seven. Yeah. Eight. Let's punch it. Switch Nine, sides. Five, More of a hard style six. swing. I like Keith. I like his vibe. Solid exercises. Snatch, overhead squat, windmill, thruster, rack squats, and then some swings. That's what's up. These are most bang for your buck exercises. Just recently, somebody commented on our YouTube channel and said, I don't have a lot of time when I'm in my lunch break. So if you don't have a lot of time to work out and many people have trouble with consistently working out, then when you decide to pick up a kettlebell, then I believe you want to make the most out of your time with the so-called most bang for your buck exercises. Good stuff. So thank you for watching. If you liked the video, like it. Consider subscribing if you want to see more kettlebell content. And if you're looking for a program that builds you up as a beginner into a slowly advanced trainee in the course of about three months, and you want to combine it with some easy to follow nutrition coaching, because maybe you say, I want to lose weight, or I want to get in shape, and check out 90 days of kettlebells. You find the link in the description, 14 day free trial included.